Good morning from Yanni Bean TV. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. Now, over the last couple of days, there's been a lot of questions being asked of me of what it's like uh, when the shoe is on the other foot, so to speak. Because it's fair to say that I've made a terrible bad name for myself for most of my life in those institutions of taking liberties and pulling strokes to get my own selfish desires uh, with addiction involved and all kinds of conning and bad behaviour and sometimes really brutally taking things off people, it's fair to say. In whatever way, the heavy way, the nice way, uh, the in-between ways, uh, where you can middle people up and you can slide out of it. You know, there's all kind of ways to scamming and conning to get your own way without it coming back on you directly sometimes, coming back on someone else. Or, you know, it's out and out uh, war and war and real, real battle forever because, you know, if you forcefully go in and take on a man's things uh, and he's gonna, you're going to bump into him at some time again, uh, you've got to be on your guard. Uh, you can never put your head down for one second. But anyway, so we're outside. We're in Whitemore. We're not outside. We're on the field in Whitemore. One of my young ones doing a life sentence. Uh, we'll just say he's Tempus Cody from Ipswich. Uh, light skin Lee. And he's, I like him. We get on good. Now, I can't graft. There's not much to do get that day. And my foot was stuck in places to go uh, as usual. Uh, this, this is what it was like on certain days and he's got but he's not a regular player uh, he just does his little thing and does his little hustle whatever he does he does if you get what I mean so I'm practically begging him saying to him listen give me one of those three I swear I'll get this back to I won't let you go without you saying to him, yeah, but they're not mine they're not mine you know that if I can't you, you, if you don't give me then you know that I won't be able to you're going to leave me in a bad predicament kind of thing bad 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 Right? So, but so needing, wanting, selfish, um, get it out of him, right? And the day comes now where he's asking the geezer, he's telling the geezer, no, I'm saying to, I'm saying to Lee, no, nah, I can't get it for you. He says to me, see, that's why I don't, I'm not gonna, you're never gonna get me like this again. You're, we're friends, yeah, me, but now you're my boy and I've taken a liberty. And, uh, and you know what I said to him, to try and belittle and try to make what I did nothing. Real bad, bad guy. I said, I said, they weren't yours though. It weren't like I was hurting you. He was only doing that thing for another man. It's, it's not like he's gonna kill you for it. It's not coming out of you. He's not gonna pressure you to just blame me, I'm saying him, trying to, you know what I mean? He goes, you know, no, no, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, I mean, I don't do it that way and blah, blah. So we kind of fell out over that, I'm afraid. He always in his mind, uh, he's, he's had it, you know, I let, I let him down and, you know, I promised and I left him in a position. I don't know how that, that, that fanned out. But we end up in another Cat A together. Forgotten about, apparently, supposedly, uh, but not much has been said about it. Vibe wasn't always as friendly as it once was to say. You know, people can carry uh, feelings for, for, for long over this, over, it might seem so trivial and small to me, you know, because of the way that I do my thing, but to other people, it's a direct and proper liberty, which it is really, if you're breaking another man's fault and leaving him in trouble, really, uh, with his pants down. So the time came, we're on the yard, it's summer. It's the last call of exercise to come in, right? Andy Lady Shack has shouted me. He said, Yami, I want you to get this through the fence to my man before that, that gate shuts there. So I said to him, yeah, 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 I'll do that. Andy, well, because there's going to be something in it for me. Uh, we know the big man when he's called. So I said, so I've grabbed the thing, run to the fence. I've tried two geezers. Yeah, when you go in, give this to blah, blah, blah. Say it's from Shack Lady, right? Just imagine it goes allegedly like this. They're saying no. Uh, so I'm getting frustrated and more frustrated because I know if the gate shuts, in, shuts uh, I ain't going to get be able to go back inside and get my, my bit because the deal hasn't, I haven't passed anything over yet, basically. So I'm in a rush to get it out of my hand, babe. Like, you know what I mean? So two people have said no. They don't want to get, they don't do things like that. They not, I should know better. They're not passing nothing. They're not risking their uh, BCAT 
ACAT status to get their B just for passing things through the fence with people watching and that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of men like that. They will keep their nose clean for, for uh, years and years and years and not get, get involved. So it's nearly time, both gates, it's rushy, 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 where it's just like two people left out on my side and two people left out on the other. I'm calling my friend now from Whitemore, Lee Ipswich. Right, yeah, yeah, Lee, I beg you, get this to, to uh, blah, blah, blah. And what, is there anything in it for me? Yeah, yeah, of course there is, of course there is, of course there is. Of course something in it for you. Don't worry, man, don't watch nothing. He goes, oh, he goes, all right, all right, give it to me, give it to me, take a second. Passed it through, gone back in. Andy Shacks was at the gate all the time watching me. So remember, I've only had 20 seconds or 30 seconds with this thing in my hand. Bang! All night I'm lying there. I'm thinking, I hope Lee's gone and given it to the geezer. Because you know, you worry, you're thinking, you know, anything could happen. And I don't want to fall out with a big man because I've already, I've been, I've been in these bad books before kind of thing and got a squeeze off him because he can have a right row. And he's a bigger boy for me, really. Uh, if it would come down to it, it would be, I would have to use something and it would be really, really serious. So it's not the kind of man uh, that I could take the piss out of, if you get what I mean. Though, I did do pull a move once, but forget that. So morning comes, he gets called to the exercise fence in the morning or lunchtime, right? So he gets called to the exercise fence. The man's, he's talking to a man at the fence and he's turning around and he's looking at me. So I'm looking and I'm thinking, first thing that's come to my mind, this is the guy that, who's got the parcel sent over last night. So the person I gave to give to another person, that was the guy that Shaq Lady is talking to at the fence and Shaq Lady's looking at me, he's called me over. He said, this my man saying that the gear's shit, that's rubbish. I said to him, no, 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 no. I, 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 you saw what I did, you was there the whole time. I gave him what you gave me. He goes, Yami, you gave it to another geezer, didn't you? To give it to. I said, yeah. So I called him out of the fence. I said, no, I gave it to him. I went straight in. I gave him, I gave him it as it was and blah, blah, blah. I said, All right, cool. Jim later on now, we've all gone in the changing rooms. So Shat Lady must have had a, so a plan in his head. Uh, and then one was forming in mine as well so we could find out for definite so you're talking eight wraps and now we're down there the guy pulls out the wraps so Shaq Lady's standing there Lee's standing there he's gone I gave you the things what time you gave I gave I gave it to you before the door closed yeah you did give me the things before the door closed right that's not what we're talking about right now we're talking about he's saying the gear's rubbish Shaq Lady's saying we know the gear's not um, the gear. The gear's good, and I'm in, I'm I know that the thing's all right as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't be running about for it, would I? So, he pulls out the thing. He said, "Is this what you give him?" He said, "Yeah, that's what I gave him." He looked at the thing. He said, "Nah, these ain't the wraps that I gave. I never gave Yami these wraps to give you. These are made up wraps of something else. This is shit." And he punched Lee in the mouth. So. Got Lee, I stopped, I said, Shaxi, all right, cool, I'll sort it out, da, 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 da. See, Lee was getting me back for what I did to him in Whitemore, thinking that I was gonna get the stick for what, you know, for passing it through the fence. I, he thought I was gonna get the blame, but he didn't know, he didn't realize that I'd only just got the things in my hand, I didn't have a long time with him, so I couldn't have made up the wraps of paracetamol, you know, you burn up the paracetamol to turn it into brown, a brown color. You're giving the man that to smoke and you you got clump for it. But really, you was leaving it, the option open for me to get a clump over it because it was me that was the one that was passing it for Shaxi. So I had a little ding dong with, with Shaxi. I said, said, yeah, don't mind, but we'll come to work, work out something. I said, but leave, like, because I'm thinking about why more. I said, leave, 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 I'll sort it all out, like, blah, 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 blah. Second time now, right, is a friend of ours. He's from Nam. He's got a brother called Temper, and I know his dad as well now. He was doing his little thing in La, and he come through. He's a warlord. He does his thing in jail as well, as well as the outside. He's a name, name, man, name man. Uh, he's a man who, who does this thing. He's not frightened of nobody or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He's he's in the he's in the game. He's known everywhere. He's doing his bits and bobs. Uncle Yami's taking the piss out of him one night. 
couple of things. What he calls it, breaking his foot, like leaving him barefooted on canteen day where he's expecting some things and I haven't gone for him. And he's not going to stab me. He's not going to fight me. He's not going to do nothing to me because we're kind of not closely family or anything like that. But we know he's, he's, he's not deep. He wouldn't want to do me nothing like that over that, if you get what I mean. So I've kind of using that kind of friendship, uh, that scamming uh, thing, uh, with knowing full well that I don't think he would do me anything serious over something, you know, to something of that small nature. If I was forcibly robbing him or whatever, like, blah, 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 blah. Either way, I took a liberty. So he catches me one day, stopped talking to me for a good couple of months. I was kind of hurt, but I ain't got a leg to stand on. I know that I'm in the wrong. And then one night he catches me, gives me a thing, says, yeah, there's a couple, I'm gonna put it all behind me. And um, it's still my uncle, like, rah, rah, rah. So I right, didn't sweet, cool, cool. Banged up at night, smoke, try to smoke thing, things, it's burning up, tasting, tastes too sweety, too things, it's not, obviously it's not. So he thought he was being funny, but then I could hear some laughing through the door. Imagine that, slurp, I'm sorry. I could hear some laughing through the door. Mm. He's calling me names. Like, how do you feel now? This pussy all yummy. You like it, yeah? Sweet, yeah? For months and months, I put up with that. But he scanned me, made me look like an idiot, give me hot chocolate to smoke, uh, to get me back for what I did to him. But I let him call me any name he wanted to. I never said nothing, I never argued back. I never, normally I'll be arguing back and uh, there'd be some reason. Uh, but someone once told me, yeah, I mean, never be wrong and strong. You hear that one? You know, when you don't, what will you do to people? If it happens to you, don't go, you, you react in the way that they reacted with you. Cause you got away with a lot of stuff. When it happens to you, it happens to you. You take it the same way, but though you can get really angry and feel like you've been wronged when you're the one that's done the bloody wrong things fucking all your life, kind of thing. The other time when I, I, a scam was involved, when I fought, I came close, real close. Uh, the kids, I'm in a sea cat now, and I've made a deal with three or four kids. I've got a hiding place for the phones. I said, you can, like, you don't all sort me. Da, 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 da. I've got a place to put it in mine. Leave it in there to, in the morning comfort. So they didn't want to hold all their phones overnight. They, my uncle Yami said, he, they, I've got a place to put it in mine. They can't be found. I'll take it overnight. Don't let nobody know, blah, blah, blah. Me being clever now, or thinking he's being clever, I said, I said, yeah, I go, it's nice on so I've done the deal, taken the things, but I got a man downstairs who says that he he holds his phones in the light thing up there. It's common knowledge, isn't it? The light, it's when people be mixed with the light thing so many times. But he's got the keys, he's got the thing, and but he's not a known face or nothing. Nobody doesn't really talk to him, but I know him, I do little bits with him. I said to him, look, would you hold these for the night and in the morning, like, to do that? So really, I wasn't holding them. They weren't in my cell, so I wasn't taking no risk, if you get what I mean. I was doing a deal with another guy on the back of another deal. So I've left it. He said to me, of course I'll do that for you. Yeah, I mean, don't worry, man. I'll do it, do it. Bang. Morning. So I gave him his little, little thing to bang up or whatever. Morning time came. When I went downstairs, because obviously they're going to come for their phones. When I went downstairs, I looked downstairs. I looked through the spiral. The doors are locked. It's an empty cell. There's no one in there. I said, oh, no. Yami, you are dead today. All them kids, they're gonna rush you. About 1,500 of them. They're not gonna have that. You ain't gonna get out of this one. So I'm just lying up on my back against the wall outside the, outside the cell. First call, my boy. Yeah, monks, come, you got the thing. Said, Listen, um, I put it in. Don't wanna hear it. Yami, you said you was, you didn't tell us this bit. But history, my behavior, they're thinking. Yami's pulled one on all of us. Probably sold all the phones, got all the money, but you know I'm not gonna do it. But they're not caring, not listening to what I'm doing, because you know I've got terrible history. So what they believe in, I'm saying, no, nope, it's in there. The guy, where's the guy? He's just gone in the morning before unlock. He just disappeared, no shout, no bite. I think he's gone with the, he's gone with the phones. 
I said, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm still going to check check the phone up there. I'm on the phone, check the light. Someone's moved in, so spare cell now. So as soon as someone's gone into the cell, so for about three hours, you know, everybody's sitting down, wondering, they're all thinking, what do we just mash, mash up, you know what I mean? Stab him up, beat him, kill him. I'm saying to him, listen, hold on, wait. Just wait, I know my man, he wouldn't do that to me. He would have let me know, he, maybe he's coming back or whatever, where did he go? Anyway, we're waiting and waiting, the time's come, man's coming, the door's open. So as soon as the geezer's gone into the cell door, everyone's run down from the twos down to the ones, into the cell, yeah, mate, hold on. What, mate, he thinks he's in trouble for, no, 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 we're not interested in you. The light, I am begging and praying myself, saying, no, please don't let this thing open. And the phone's saying in there, so they're doing what they're doing, get undoing the phone. Guess what? When they undid the, the light, eventually the light thing came off. All the phones were there. First time I was terrified because I was, I, they could only believe. And that wasn't the deal anyway. I said I was keeping them in my cell. They might not have wanted to do the deal if I was saying I'm going to take a risk. I've got a man to hold them, if you get what I mean. So the responsibility is all mine. And that's a lot of phones to go missing. So it would have been Uncle Yummy and all the kids fighting. And I was in good, I was in a good place with them all. The relief I felt that day, but I could honestly tell you that I felt fear that day. So the scamming swings in roundabouts. But my motto is scamming comes, comes around every single day. Oh God, the clock, man. Every single day it happens in there. You go in the walkway. One time down the King's Cross years ago on the streets, uh, when I first started fiddling about with one of these, around about four, five, six in the morning, ponytailed up, looked like a foreigner, weak, smoking, not looking like yummy. Turned up down by the down by by the cross, round by the centre, saying, "Yeah, who? Yeah, so I see a man I know from, obviously from jail, Michael Peterson." I said Michael Peter, might be saying, said no. Nah. He said, "Yeah, him." Go, go to him, yeah. Like, there's there, 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 but so I look like a foreigner. They don't know me. Who? Then four of a girl and three other guys came. Yeah, hold on one second. Let's, let's deal with this one. They think, obviously, you can read the brain work. They think I'm a foreigner. They can have me over. This looks like a light bit of work for them, you know, like on the way that I would think in jail with certain things. You could just read it from miles off. They think I'm an easy target. So uh, they're doing a, the, the Yardy Jamaican who Michael Peterson said, yeah, deal with him. He's, he's, he, he'd say, no, I don't want to deal with him. He don't, he don't look right. I'll deal with them and they deal with me. So he's basically palmed me off with the three in front of me that I don't know, that Michael Peterson wanted him himself to deal with me. But Michael Peterson could see what was going on. And he's saying to them, listen, don't do it. He goes, mind what you're doing, but not listening. The other said, no, 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 back away, back. You look, you look, like, you look like you could be a policeman or whatever. <laughs> The bands is based, so I'm taking a real chance here. So you're making them do the sale for you with my money, which is only about 40 pounds, 60 pounds. By that time in the morning, you know what it's like in that life, uh, that shitty, shitty life, that street life, madness. They walked off with my things and laughed in my face. And Uncle Yami just said, didn't have no weapons on me or nothing. I just walked off. I said, oh, why? But this reaction, Later on, two nights later, I can't talk about this one, can I? Because I know that would send me back to jail forever. But Michael, he did say, and I did. When I walked off, I said I felt like a victim, proper victim. Months or so, I got robbed blatantly. But I knew that, that that at that time when that thing happened, I wasn't going to win that one. One, I was outnumbered. Two, I felt weak. I felt vulnerable. And I just took it upon myself, like, well, I'll accept it. But I accept it for now, but I know where your playground is. And I just went home and I suffered, suffered badly, hurt, like you're nobody, like, you know, you're meant to be the robber, but now you're getting robbed, you see what I'm saying? But I came back, I'll be up later on shortly, sending loads of love.